the meeting for the Guthrie Parks Board um, for Thursday, January 19th, 2017. Um, it's called to order at 6 30. Uh, second item on the agenda, I guess. Uh, oh, actually, we need to call roll. Um, if you're here, please say present or whatever. Uh, Elise Ellis? Here. Van Cordray? Here. DeAndre Jones? Jennifer Rawson. I'm here, so we have quorum. And on to the consideration of approving the minutes for November 17, 2016. Has everybody had a chance to look over them? If so, uh, I'll make a motion. Motion to approve the minutes. Is there a no second? No second. There's a second. So all in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 All right. So there's no opposition. So that passes. On to the third item: discussion and consideration of applying for a trail grant for improvement of Highland Park trails. What is to have two type of grants that we can ask for. Okay. One is community support grant, which ranges from five to ten thousand dollars, and it's more of a grant that includes a promoting uh, local trail projects in the local media, conducting feasible studies, and adding personnel and volunteer uh, coordination cap capacities. The second one is a project transportation grant which is from $15,000 to $50,000, which is also can serve as a matching opportunity on a grant to make a, a larger project. It also includes new trails construction, trail heads, bathrooms, land acquisitions, uh, trail signage, improvements to existing trails. So, some of the options that we have. Okay. Is uh, I I guess are they, are they both pretty competitive? Do you do you know or does well, I like the project transformation grant because it goes to fifty thousand dollars and you can match funds with it to make a a bigger project. Cool. But is, is, do we want to add another trailhead or do we want to make improvements and repairs to the trails that we have? Yeah. Are we just talking about the walk? Way of, that goes around the pond and back in the back. Right, everything. the whole trail. So you so got the three phases trail. there, and uh, it, it is in some need of repairs. What all is there that you can think of that needs help or attention? Probably doing an overlay, trying to trade the trails that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, can we do something to the that? I know that one section, and there, it always looks like there's rock falling on the concrete. I know you're talking about the yeah, where it's coming down. Like you're going through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it almost looks like there's a landslide. Yeah, and, and that would give us options to do that to make some type of improvements that we can make on the old trails that we do have. Mm -hmm. Is it your group that will be doing the work? No, 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 no. Okay. It, it'll be contracted out. I got you. I don't have no capability. I'm <laughs> trying to understand now. You're going to add on a bunch more, and, like you don't have enough to do already. Right so, uh, yeah, I'd say go for the bigger one. Um, yeah. Go for the bigger one. Yeah, I like it best. Yeah. Is this a one time grant, or is it a recurring uh, you can reapply, or are there any parameters um, okay. about? All three phases of, of Highland Trails was done through grants. Okay. You know, through different phases. So phase one was done by a grant. Each phase was so. It's something that we go back at and try to get more grants that you can possibly get. And that's one way I guess we, we look at that. Do they okay. offer this grant every year or is this a... I don't know if it's yearly. Okay. Okay. I don't know that. Okay. Well... What we have as far as discussion on that? I mean, is that, does everybody kind of agree with? Well, I know my daughter and her friends, all the, they love the trails, and when I mentioned to her that we were talking about that, she was really excited. So I know that there's momentum for it, especially yeah. from our younger kids. They, they really like just walking through there. So, yeah. 
I mean, what other, you, you were mentioning about making other trails? Yes, uh, I think the next trail that we're possibly looking at is Lincoln, Mental Wales to Highland Park. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. So it would be like leaking the trails from, from, from Mental Wales, probably going to the junior high, going on to, to Highland Park. Like a, a bike trail or just a, I mean, would it be, be a, open to like bikes? Jogging. Or jogging. Or right. I mean, you can, you can, yeah, that can be done. Yeah, because I mean, the one thing is that there's not a lot of places, like I remember when my girls were little, to take them out strolling, mm -hmm. you know, um, and that would be a wonderful way, uh, and also give access to people that, yeah. you know. How would you get there through, like, that Snake Creek area, that back way, back through that way, or? Well, the old plan, you know, when they made the plan back in 2000, the way that the trail was supposed to leak was going from Middle West and go through. Uh, Bird Creek, and then going into Highland, but you might want to look at and relocate the, the route you want to go through there, because you might want to go to Mental Wealth and try to lead to the junior high and go into Highland instead of going on the back side and being away from the school. Cool. So, so regardless, I mean, whatever changes are made or if they decide to do a new trail or whatever, obviously that larger one, that's the one that's going to give us the most flexibility mm -hmm. on, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so does anyone want to make a motion to consider applying? I, I guess that's what we need to do, applying for a trail grant, and if so... I'll make a motion for it. Okay. <coughs> so there's a motion to... A larger one. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So there's a motion to approve the project transportation grant. Um, for the trail, I guess, applying for a trail grant. Is there a uh, second? There's a second. So uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor of applying for that project transportation grant, please say aye. 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 Okay, so there's no opposition, so that passes. Um, I guess on to the next one. It would be the discussion of the new community interest in adding birdhouses in the parks. Okay. Um, we did replace two, uh, the two birdhouses in Mental Wales. Uh, one was donated from uh, Miss Hoskins, she donated a uh, birdhouse to us. Also, there's two in Highland Park that we need to replace, and I need to look at the two that's out there at Guthrie Lake. You know, so uh, we'll be working on that next in Highland Park, going to the birdhouses there. What kind of birdhouses are they? They're Purple birds? Martin. That's okay, okay. Purple Martin. Okay. Yeah. So great one. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a fantastic idea. I do too. Okay. Well, I mean, that's and that's just for discussion. So you're just, I yeah. guess, updating. So that's that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, I guess. Well, I guess the next item would be the discussion and update on sponsorships in the disc golf course at Highland Park. Okay. Uh, what we do have the Lions Club. They don't. Donated, they sponsored the first tee hole uh, on the disc golf. And uh, Dolan Bro uh, Brookshire donated, sponsored a bench. So they take and donate some sponsorship for anyone that want to sponsor a tee or a bench disc uh, of the disc golf. That's great. Did they contact you or did you? Uh, no, they were the contact office at 8400. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, who's going out and, um, and getting the sponsorships or is it they contact you if they're interested? Well, what they do, uh, they will contact the, op the complex out there at the office mm -hmm. and it'll go through them. Okay. The secretary will take care of everything. Okay. There's still several holes available, I'm guessing. 17. 17. And, is it, and is it an open sponsorship or is it a set amount? Um, are there tiers? I don't know what the set amount is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I think they take anything. I was about to say, would they just take an open donation? Yeah. Yeah. We don't know how much the sponsorships are, like for the bench or the. Because I'm thinking. Okay. Possibly, you know, some of the. 
sororities, fraternities at some of the universities that are close to you mm -hmm. that might be interested in doing that as a project? It would be a good project. Yeah, it would. And um, if you have someone that's reaching out to different organizations, mm -hmm. as far as is there a spearhead to the campaign so that, you know, um, you're getting targeted donorship and asks and buys. So Because you know, they get their name. Exactly. There. There's a benefit to it, you know, but um, people need to know about it. That's what it sounds like to right. me isn't happening. People don't know about it, right. so you need to get out there and give them portals to be able to donate. Yeah. So, um, if we could get something maybe on the city site, um, would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we can get, um, let's talk to uh, Chamber, um, Tracy at the Chamber, do a Chamber chat about it, um, but I, it's not that people don't want to donate, it's that they don't know what the cause is and they don't know how. Okay. Those are the two main things in a donations campaign. So, okay. I do this a lot. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and, uh, you know... Maybe um, blurb in the newsletter, too. Uh, yeah, get the newsletter over. I mean, uh, Mike Monahan's on the CVB. Um, yeah. And he knows everyone. Uh, he's retired from the, the news leader now, but still. Um, also, the uh, Guthrie News page. Yep. I mean, he's really wonderful about promoting. But if we promote it, you can get the money. Plus, um, your big market people, your you know sponsor a whole. You need to be talking to all of the Guthrie businesses. That's the chamber, you know, and say, hey, this is for your community, you know. Would you be, and, and they're going to get, you know, um, their name on thing. You know, it's, okay. it's a good thing for the like community. advertisement. Exactly. So. Plus the people that come out there. I mean, the age of the people. All ages. All ages. All ages. Yeah. It stays busy. Does it? I, it stays I love busy. Because they got it. another permit coming in. I think it's March the 17th to the 19th. That's great. Because I've been out there a couple of times and nobody's been out there, so I, they, I, they must go out there when I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> you missed a good weekend. I'm telling you, the park was full. Yes. Because one weekend, it wasn't a tournament. I counted 62 cars out there. Wow. Oh, that's that's how full it was, and it wasn't a tournament. That's great. That's, that's great. Fun. I bet you I'm out there this do, weekend. Do we know as far as, I mean, I, I think I'd been out to Hibbets and they were selling discs. But I don't know if Walmart or any other businesses are support or, or oh yeah. So, so yeah. I don't know if equipment. Yeah, and I, I mean if not, I mean that's God. It's be a good business opportunity. Well, for yeah. I mean, yeah, I know that's, that's a target for asking for asking a for donation. Donors. Yeah. You know, look at your correlation. You know, you're going to be. Yeah, because I know in the city that's I mean, any of the disc golf course, you can pretty much as you're driving up to those courses. There's advertising for places that sell it. I mean, they, mm -hmm. I think Will Rogers Park has a gas station that's mm -hmm. across the street that right. sells disc golf stuff. Right. Yeah, because huh. I guess you have to have like 20 different ones or something. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah ones, absolutely. And, and then that. when you throw them into mm -hmm. the woods, then you're upset. And <laughs> <laughs> you need an extra one. So, uh, anyways, but yeah, maybe that would be a. Places the talk with. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, yes, we need to figure out a way. Maybe those are some leads that we can look at to get and then finding out, like advertising the amount. Yeah, I was about to say, and, and putting a target amount to it. Because people, when they're looking to donate, that's, that's why the United Way thing is always successful. They do that thermometer. And people say we're they see we're almost there is a big thing, and that's when donations fly in. So if they can say we need to raise this and we're at this, you know, let's go, then people are more motivated. So that sounds real good. We do. Yeah. So yeah, I bet, I bet if there's yeah, if we just put the awareness out there, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people. And once it warms up to you know a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, and it's so much fun. We played, I'm Californian, so, you know, <laughs> we've played it forever, but it's a blast. So, and it's free. 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. It's when you lose I, the disc. Exactly. And it's like, take the family. Exactly. You know? Then when you lose a disc and it's ten dollars, then you're really mad, you know. <laughs> you're basically getting free entertainment. So yeah. I've become people with Yeah. Yeah. It's over here so, somewhere. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, um, I guess we can go ahead and move on to the staff report then. Is there okay. Basically, man, what we've been doing is just trying to uh, repair picnic tables, uh, trash can holes, you know, cleaning them, painting them, uh, doing the repairs, and we did get trash can holes out there that lived like on the campsites. We didn't add them there. We took picnic tables and trash can holes back to them in the wells. It was kind of empty for a while, but we got them back. And we are waiting for new benches and uh, new trash can holes to come in that we ordered. So, and when them trash, uh, the new uh, benches will be going to the disc off, you know, so we'll be placing them and setting them. So basically just trying to clean things up, get ready for the spring. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Well, does anyone, at least do you have anything? Or I have a, a, a cons well, it was brought to me. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess the last time they had a car show out at Mineral Wells, okay. and they had some um, ladies in booths sitting around selling their, you know, homemade things. Mm -hmm. There was some major red ants. Okay. Is there anything we can do to yeah. <laughs> make sure we don't have that we, this we summer? Take, I mean, maybe if we had a hard enough freeze, we they'll, could, they'll, they'll go take through it. <laughs> Must have been an unpleasant day. <laughs> well, they they were trying to do something without getting in trouble. Okay, you know, we are, we'll take care of that. Yeah, but I I mean I know it's it's this yeah. is the wrong time of the year, but yeah, but we know you know where those I guess it's right there by where they have the church in the pavilion. Yeah, yeah. I guess there's some wood, like okay. a wood fencing. Yeah, they were right in that area. Okay, okay. But if because. My red ants aren't good. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> but maybe if we get a hard enough freeze, they'll leave us alone <laughs> for this year. <laughs> Kill them all. That right. was it. Jeff, do you have anything? Um, you... At some given point in time, I've been putting together something about, um, and some grants and such, um, f towards um, Ritzhoff Park. It's kind of my pet. Um, but, um, Basically, I've found three different grants that we qualify for that can renovate um, the skate park. Um, I also was talking with a Guthrie police officer who I cannot remember his name because I'm not sitting in front of my computer. Came by to buy tickets at the theater and we were talking and he said, you know, have you been down to the elbow? Have you seen the great graffiti art down there? And I said, no, I don't go in the building, you know, and everything. He goes, no. There's graffiti, and then there's art. And he goes, you're an artist, so I thought I'd tell you one thing to maybe think about is, can we have a mural wall? And then we have a place for all of those kids to go and do their art and, you know, um, paint it back over again every six months. But then it's not them going into scary buildings and, you know, but um, I'm still researching it. He just dropped the idea to me, and I thought, that's actually a great idea, and it would work with Ritzhoff Park. It, there's a retaining wall there, but, I mean, it's not. Um, but there's a way that you could put a mural wall there. Um, and we used to have them in parks um, in California, and they're a little bit more to maintain, but it's easier to have a place designated than go around the whole city and just covering up random taggings and so on and yeah. so forth. I have no idea how it would work. Yeah, that was yeah. just an idea that he brought by, and I thought that's kind of cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. See, I, because I, I, I mean, I'm. I think that sounds very interesting. I, the only, I guess, issues that I would see coming up from that would be like I don't know, liability wise. Oh, you're probably opening up a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything. Hey, you'd, kids, you'd have to do a I, I lot of research. Yeah, there were still cans on that. that. But, but, yeah, but it would still be... I just thought that's kind of a... Especially from one of our local police officers, he's saying there's some beautiful stuff, yeah. but don't go in the buildings. And I was like, 
Exactly. And so plus that backs up to some houses. Exactly. Over sprayed. But it'd be tricky too because I think, especially with this, as intense as we are about preserving the history and the historical mm -hmm. buildings and stuff, mm -hmm. finding a exactly. location that would be and the first morning we woke up and saw something vulgar up there. Exactly. <laughs> That's something that you'd have to look at. But, exactly. But it's still like you said. I mean, yeah. the art, I mean it's a great idea. Stuff, so that would be that be interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you yeah. said, you just a lot of randomly literally out, so. no research <laughs> at all whatsoever. <laughs> Come on, I, uh, okay. <laughs> due diligence. I'll get on my. Okay, I'm just um, sitting there thinking about. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. well, and it's that delicate balance that we're always dealing with. You want to give opportunity. Yeah. You want to, you know, them to have something to do and and be able to express themselves. Take a ball. Exactly. Disc golf. <laughs> you will, yes. Legs, well, right? artistic, legs. you know, yeah. and yeah. so, you know, it's something for, you know, Absolutely. just to think about. Yep. So, that was it. Sounds great. Cool. Cool. Bam, what do you have? Uh, what's the deal with the, the levels out at Liberty and Guthrie anyway, man? Uh, don't we have a pump to keep those licks full? Do you know what the story is on that? Man, I don't know. Okay. Because that butt ramp at Liberty is out of the water. I know it. I know it. Again. And just have to put a little bit more rain that's building back up. But he does real well. Yeah. Okay. Who does that? Is that water? It comes water? from uh, the water plant when they transfer the water. So. That's who turns it on. Yeah, I, I get really in dark really. Okay. They're living now. So it could be critical what we're trying to do with getting the vegetation established out there and keep those levels level. Yeah. Can. I do not see that. That's pretty low. <laughs> Appreciate all you do, Blue. Also, um, are you keeping up okay with the, the things that you have going on around here? I know there's a lot of uh, projects coming up, and I know you've been a little short-handed, but we're doing we're doing pretty good, you know. Um, like I say, we will uh, we should be on target when the spring comes, you know. So when the grass gets to growing, we should be ready, you know. As far as uh, making all our repairs to our tables and stuff, and then once it warm up, then we will start painting, finish painting our pavilion and stuff like that that we got to do, painting the playground equipment we got to do, uh, trying to get everything ready that we can. For the more season hit us hard. So we got a lot of stuff to do, but part of it too is waiting on the weather. You know, what it allows us to do. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Yeah. Are, there, are there any small projects that, you know, I, I could be naive to this as far as in the, in the past finding um, volunteers. I know volunteers, <laughs> it's always hard. It's always hard to find volunteers, but. If we if if there was a way to rally a bunch of volunteers, are there small things that like a list or something that? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we painted the inside of the pavilion. Uh, I guess last fall, uh, with the help of the hospital, the Mercy Hospital helped us. So we teamed up and we done the inside, but we got to finish the outside, and that's what I'm saying. Once it warm up, we finished the outside of the pavilion. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, volunteers, this is a way to get a lot of little projects done. That's what I mean, I just didn't know, because I imagine there's probably a thousand things that keep getting shoved at you, and, <laughs> and, I mean, and you're so, just... Yeah, every volunteer helps. Yeah, so I, I mean, just didn't they, know if they're... They're not going to go to the way, there are they can help us do. If there's small things that, yeah. that would help you to, yeah. So I guess would that be like if... If we were somehow able to find a group of volunteers to, right. like, would we just contact you or the or the Maxine? Contact, yeah. Okay. Dolph, eighty four hundred, right? Yeah. And we set it up like you know we could do that, and you could team up and like paint your playgrounds at, at Highland Park and stuff like that. You got different swing sets. You got the big playground that need to be uh, repainted and faded out pretty bad. Lines. You got lines. You know. Uh, even men Wales, we still got to repaint that playground down there too. So there's a lot of different locations and a lot of different projects that we can do. Um, when we were talking about, um, in my very first meeting, uh, needing volunteers to help out at the lakes and everything, right after that I ran into Raymond Cochram. He's the Central Oklahoma 
um, FFA director, mm -hmm. I believe. I'm not sure if I have the wrong title, sorry. But he, I told him about it, and I've got his number, and he said that their FFA is ready, willing to do whatever volunteer they, they need projects. So okay. um, there might be a great... You know, I'll, I'll give you his number. Okay. Um, okay. And um, it might be a great resource for help because those kids will get credits and everything yes. for it as yeah. well. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, but he said they'd be love to go out and help you at the lakes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Great. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Um, I that's, that's that's the last thing I was kind of wondering about. Okay. Just, if there's a way to help you out, so. Um, okay, well I guess then that concludes the meeting.